Okay, friends, Doc South here. And I know nowadays a lot of people aren't made of money. I, I know uh, very little money flows in my veins lately. And, you know, you like to think of ways to eat cheap. You know, besides eating gruel, you know, three days, uh, uh, th three meals a day. Uh, it's, uh, it's nice to go out to the supermarket and get a bargain that you can scoff down and enjoy. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just one of life's simple pleasures to have something tasty to munch on. Okay. Well, I got something I found. What you want to do is you go to the, uh, at your local supermarket, almost all the time there are, uh, there's usually a frozen pizza section in the frozen food department. Uh, it's usually well stocked. I know, gosh, where I am, I'll bet you the pizza display is about 15, I'll have to measure it, but it's at least six foot high and probably measures at least 15, 15 to 18 feet wide. Okay, with maybe what's four or five, certainly five shelves worth of all different kinds of pizzas to try. And you look at them and you say, hmm, Okay, that one don't look too bad, but I remember I got that one and it wasn't so hot. It wasn't so good. And then you maybe another one, gee, I didn't like the crust on that one or the sauce on that one or those those people over there, uh, they're kind of pikers on the pepperoni, you know. And, and that, Okay, well, I've, I'm going to start trying to uh, give you some tips as to being a pizza connoisseur. I have loved pizza my whole life and pizza has loved me. Okay, well... Uh, and I like to get them, yeah, fresh out of the pizzeria. But a lot of times the pizzerias, you know, they're they're a bit more than you might have sometimes. Okay. Now, but gosh, when you got the money, go get a go go to your local pizzeria and pick one up, of course. And it's really best to eat them at the place if you can, because quite honestly, hot out of the oven, boy, there ain't nothing better than a yeah, burning your mouth on that first that fr on the point right? Yeah, I know. I, I don't know. It just sets the stage for a great, uh, a great hour's worth of munching and eating and stuff. If you like beer, I guess you have a beer or you have a Coke, you know, whatever. Okay. So yeah, nothing wrong with that. You know, what's nice too is a nice hot pepper pie. But again, back, getting back to the ones that, you know, if you're uh, short on cash, you can afford, but like, I found this one to be really good. Yeah, the Red Baron brand. I got this the other day. It was on sale in my store. And if we still got them on sale, I'm going to get another one. Because this was really, really good. The, the Red Baron brick oven pepperoni pizza. It's, uh, it, yeah, it's got the brick oven crust. I don't know quite what that means. I don't know what it matters that you're firing on brick or, or uh, you know, a, a grate of some sort. But in any case, that's what these are. And that, uh, I found they were having a clearance on, at my, uh, my store. And they were, they were down where they're normally like 10 bucks. They were like five bucks, maybe even a little less. I said, geez, for five bucks, I got five bucks. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get me, uh, get me one of these. And, uh, I said, gee, I hope it's good. I haven't, I've have not ever tried these, but honestly, this one, uh, cooked in your own oven according to the directions and all that. You'll get it all bubbly and yeah, you know, do what they say on the instructions. Be sure to follow the instructions because they, there's certain right ways and wrong ways to place a pizza in an oven. The temperature's got to be right. You know, that kind of the timing. Uh, you'll, you'll find that to be as good as anything you could get at a pizzeria. I'm telling you, something about that crust. Sometimes you get too much crust well, no, you can. There's such a thing as getting too much crust. Or you get it so darn thin, it's like you're eating a cracker, you know, with some cheese on it. Uh, it's, uh, but these, this one has just what, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting choked up here. This one, uh, this one is really, really bon appetit. Huh? Yeah. So, uh, manja. Get yourself down there and see if you can find one at your local store. Again, Red Baron uh, brick ovens. And again, this is not a and I'm I'm not a paid spokesman or anything like that. I I but I gotta say, 
Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You want the picture again? Okay, real quick. But again, they, uh, I, I, I think normally they're more money, but when you can find them on sale, invest heavily. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I think you'll like them. I, at least for me, it was, uh, I thought it was a real, uh, it was, it was just like pizzeria, like you might get in a pizzeria. Yeah. Learn an Italian song or two and, you know, I don't know, sing something as you're, uh, bringing it out of the oven. I think you'll, uh, you'll see what I mean. Maybe eat it out on the back deck if it's not too cold or not too many mosquitoes out there, you know, just, or just sit around the TV and munch. Hmm. Okay. And it's a good meal. Fills you up. Fills you up. And it's it's all the things you need. Vitamin. You got pepperoni for vitamin P. You got cheese for vitamin C. And you got a, a crust for, a, well, you got crust to fill you up. And uh, you're, you're ready for, a, you know, another day of uh, another evening of mirth and merriment after you knock one of those down. And it's, it's I'd say, big enough for two people to eat. Yeah. You get, if you have, uh, if you got kids, you better get you know, one for each kid and then uh, one for you and the wife. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you later. Again, I, this is not a, it, it's just me passing on word of a good brand of pizza. It's certainly not an ad or anything like that, but you'll, um, I think you'll like it a lot. Okay. I just thought I'd say, I might send this, I might, if I can find out where, where Red Baron's headquarters are, I might send this to them and let them just see that someone out there uh, thinks enough of their uh, pizza to make a, you know, make a, uh, a little blurb. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye now. God bless.